Flip a switch, plug it in, or turn it on. It's something we do countless times a day thanks to the reliable flow of electricity. These actions have become a natural part of our daily lives, so it's easy to take electricity for granted. That is, until the power goes out. Sometimes disruptions can occur. That's why we at the City of Tallahassee Utilities want to assure you that we work as quickly and safely as possible to restore your power when an outage happens. To understand how the power restoration process works, it's a good idea to start at the beginning, the beginning of how we make electricity and deliver it to our community. The generation of electricity happens at power plants using energy sources like solar or natural gas. City of Tallahassee Utilities operates three power plants that work off solar and natural gas, which are cleaner, more environmentally friendly forms of electric power generation. These power plants produce over 720 megawatts of energy and power over 118,000 homes and businesses in our community. The energy generated from our power plants travels across high voltage transmission lines mounted on large towers to reach distribution hubs or substations. In Tallahassee, we have 25 substations that are spread throughout our community. These substations then feed the distribution power lines mounted on poles or that run underground into our community. At the City of Tallahassee Utilities, we manage over 200 miles of transmission lines and nearly 3,000 miles of overhead and underground distribution power lines. All along the way, we use insulators, circuit breakers, and other devices to help deliver electricity to you safely. It's at the neighborhood level where most outages originate. Falling trees and branches, wayward squirrels, and severe weather damages are the top causes. That's why we work to maintain appropriate right of way around power lines all year long and communicate when inclement weather is entering our area. Vehicle crashes and equipment failures can also cause the lights to go out. Sometimes we may have a planned power outage to make repairs or upgrades to our electric system. We cut off the power momentarily to update the system safely. In the cases of planned outages, we will notify you via mail, email, text, or in person. While most disruptions last minutes to a few hours, a longer duration loss of power can happen during extreme weather conditions, such as those with high winds, lightning, or heavy rain. If you lose electricity, first, check your circuit breaker to make sure it's not a problem within your home or business. If the problem is not inside your house, you should turn off as many lights and appliances as possible to avoid other system problems when the power is restored. Also, it's a good idea to familiarize yourself with where electric lines run close to your house or attached to your house. Not only will that help you provide information to our representatives and emergency personnel, it could help you stay safe too. Before reporting your outage, you may want to check the electric outage map on the Digitally app. There is a good chance that we already know about the outage or that your neighbors have already reported it. If your outage isn't showing on the electric outage map and there doesn't appear to be a problem inside your home or business, then report your power outage to the City of Tallahassee Utilities. There are several ways to report an outage. You can report a power outage via the Digitally app or online at talgov.com. Another way is to call 891-4968. That's 891-4968. If a large weather event, like a tropical storm or hurricane, is headed toward our community, we'll coordinate with state agencies and local partners at the Emergency Operations Center. From here, we can monitor the weather to see how it might impact our electric system and other city services. If our area experiences widespread power outages due to extreme weather or another disaster, we must prioritize where to start the restoration process. Restoring power after widespread outages is a big job that involves more than simply throwing a switch. It involves a huge coordinated effort with hundreds of electric employees working together in very dangerous situations. Our goal is to restore power to all customers as safely and as quickly as possible. 
In order to accomplish this, we begin with a damage assessment. We have specially trained electric employees who assess our power plants, transmission lines, and distribution power lines. During the damage assessment, we identify areas where repairs are needed and prioritize resources and staff to those areas. Repairs are first made to the transmission lines, which carry electricity to our distribution power lines from the power plants and substations. Transmission lines must be repaired first along with any damage to the power plants or substations. Next on the restoration priority list is the distribution power lines. We prioritize which lines to serve first based on the services they offer. This priority list has been predetermined with input from our community leaders. Essential services like hospitals, nursing homes, and critical community facilities are often repaired first. Then, we immediately get to work, restoring power to the largest clusters of customers before working down into the areas with fewer customers impacted. These large-scale outages bring all hands on deck and could require support from other electric utilities and contractors. Through mutual assistance agreements, we're able to keep day-to-day -day overhead costs manageable while ensuring proper response during major outages. Our mutual aid agreements help support our promise to use all available resources to restore electricity as safely and efficiently as possible. In the case of smaller outages that happen in a specific area affecting fewer customers, a crew is sent to assess the damage and determine the cause. If the repairs require additional manpower or specialized resources, more crews are called in. From power plants to neighborhood distribution, the City of Tallahassee Utilities constantly monitors and maintains our electric system to help prevent outages. When they do happen though, we are prepared and have an action plan in place for restoration. We ask you to prepare for a loss of electricity too. Have a flashlight, batteries, portable radio, and cell phone at the ready in case of longer term outages. It's also a good idea to have a family emergency plan. During hurricane season, it's advised that families have enough supplies to last at least 72 hours. For additional safety tips and information about the City of Tallahassee electric system, please visit talgov.com.